I'm going to show you how to make multiple different types of stairs. The first thing that you do is go to your architecture tab, click on stair, and then you have to do a few setups before you get going. The first thing is to pick what level your stair will start on and which level it will end on. So I'm going to go from level 1 to level 2. Hit apply. The next thing is picking the width of your stair. Three feet is the minimum. That is very narrow. I do recommend like a four foot for a home if you can fit it. Um, and then the final step is picking how you want to draw your stairs. I will show all three of these. So we'll start with the center first. So if I zoom in here, I'm going to click. When you click, that marks your first step that you will take in the uh, to go up. So you'll notice um, as I create it, it's telling me how many stairs I need to get to that level. So if I'm doing a straight line, um, you have to make sure that you have zero remaining on that text before you make your second click to complete the stairs. You'll notice I have selected run center, so I'm drawing the middle of my stairs. That's what that means. So as soon as I make it, I can then click and move it if need be, um, and then hit my green check mark. So on my 3D view, you will see that my stairs are now going up to that level, but I don't have a hole yet. The other way to create stairs is going to architecture, stair, I'm going to keep everything else the same, but doing run right instead, and I'll do an L shape with this one. So on the if I click on the right, that means I want to draw the right side of my stairs. So if I want to put it against the edge of a wall. So this time I'm going to make um, nine steps up, and then I want to turn to the left. So the next click I make is my first stair going up. So once I click, you will notice I now am going up, and it uh, makes that landing for me. So I'm going to then click once I have made all of them, and what's really nice at the end, uh, if things aren't like lining up well here, you can move it if need be with your arrow keys on your keyboard, move it back and forth, or use your move tool to kind of get it where you want it to be. And what's really nice is it also makes a landing for you. And you can hit your green check mark, and that one's done. The final one is a U shape. So you go to Architecture tab, Stair, and then uh, you can do the left side. And again, I'm drawing the left side of my stairs, so I'm going to go up a couple. And then the um, next click I'm going to make is going to be over here because I'm drawing the left side. And now it's naturally going to make that landing for me, which is really nice. If I want it closer, I can move it in with my arrow keys and get them nice and close, or I can move them further away. You can also click and drag and hit your green check mark. Okay. Then once you are ready, um, you're gonna once you create your stairs, you're gonna have to hit uh, make a hole in your floor so that you can you won't hit your head on your way up. So go to 3D view, click on your floor, go to edit boundary, and then go back to level one, and you're gonna cut a hole in your floor for the, all the stairs. So you can use a rectangle tool, which is really easy. You have to do it the entire stairs, otherwise tall people will hit their head. Let's zoom in here. There we go or um, you can use your line tool as well and just draw those shapes. Something that's really important if you're on the edge of the staircase, or excuse me, on the edge of the wall. So see how this is up on the edge of the wall? I actually have to delete this line because it has to be one continuous shape. So you cannot have that line going through the middle. So you notice there's no pink line here. Once you hit your green check mark <clears throat> and go to 3D view, you now can go up those stairs. You can see my floor. That's it.